Hello students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. Here I am, I am taking industrial engineering subject. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about syllabus of industrial engineering and overview of industrial engineering. So let's start the lecture in this, uh, let's start the lecture on industrial engineering. Okay. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about syllabus or overview on industrial engineering. First of all, what is industrial engineering? Uh, what is the application of industrial engineering? And what are the objectives of industrial engineering? So let's start the lecture, lecture on industrial engineering. So here I have attached one overview of industrial engineering that is the definition of industrial engineering. So let's start the definition first. So what is industrial engineering? So industrial engineering that depend on overview that depend on, on development. So here I have attached one video on industrial engineering. First of all, this is not the basic thing. This is the mass production thing as you uh, as you see in video that there are mass production. Okay, that is not the batch production. Okay, so it is very important to develop something to develop new technology. Industrial engineering that depend on uh, pro that depend on your product. Okay, so number two that is elimination waste of time and other resources. This is very important because it ultimately what is our goal okay what is our goal our goal is to improve our productivity our goal is to improve our profit so it is very important to improve our profit because ultimately input and output okay both are very important okay so operation management is one of the basic tasks number fourth production engineering production engineering is also very important Industrial engineering, the basic goal. Industrial engineering is very important because the basic goal is clear. It is to improve our productivity. It is improve our uh, method, method study. It is improve our work study. So this is very important to say that it, uh, to improve our efficiency, to improve our new uh, technology. Okay. So basically what is industrial engineering? Industrial engineering that depend on manufacturing technology that also depend on manufacturing process 1, manufacturing process 2 that we have already studied in previous semester. Okay. So to discuss about industrial engineering syllabus. So first chapter is location selection and plant layout. So what is location selection and what is plant layout? Okay. Location selection is a basic thing that depend on urban area and rural area okay according to according to your uh, economic consideration you have to select location selection now what is plant layout plant layout that depend on process layout that depend on product layout according to your operation according to your product you have to select plant layout so this is very common and this is very basic thing Location selection and plant layout that depends on support of local authorities, support of local communities, uh, communities, sub supplier market avail availability, economic consideration and other helping natures. Okay, so that is very important location selection and plant layout that depend on urban area, that depend on rural area and that also depend on plant layout. Okay, so this is very basic thing. So now second chapter is production planning and control. So what is production first of all? What is planning and what is control? So here I have attached one video. So what is production first of all? So the raw material that convert into finished product. Okay, this is very common. This is very common thing. Raw material that convert into uh, finished product that is called pro uh, production. That is called production. There are many types of production, okay, batch production, mass production, continuous production that we will see in this particular chapter. Number two, that is planning. What is planning? The, uh, first of all, for example, let's take one example that, uh, that one product is having drilling operation and cutting operation. So you have to plan first 
uh, first operation uh, first operation is drilling or first operation is either it is drilling or it is cutting so this is the planning third one is controlling so what is controlling you must check your product because ultimately our task is to improve our productivity to uh, to reduce the scrap okay so controlling is very important concept now uh, fourth one is loading loading and scheduling both are very important both are very uh, important related to production planning and control that we will see in this particular chapter so production planning and control is very important because ultimately it improve our productivity it improve our profit so third chapter is productivity and work study first of all what is productivity so productivity that is output by input okay so now what type of input are there what type of output are there so for example let's take one example productivity that depends on materials input that depends on machine input that depend on manpower input okay you can also you can always take all of the uh, all these things okay so productivity of productivity of your input that depend on all of the this matters number 2 method study so now the question is what is method study okay so method study that improve your method for example uh, there are one lathe machine and one cnc machine so lathe machine is the basic machine and cnc machine that com computerized numer uh, numerical control machine that develop c is g code and m code so this is the improvement method okay so you always have to change your method according to your operation according to your technology so now third thing is what is work study okay so this is very important work study that depend on method study and it depend on improvement of your technology fourth one is what is work measurement work measurement is very important for example you have uh, you have already made one product on lathe machine so now it's time to check it's time to check your product so that this is uh, this is improve your productivity this this will improve your uh, this will reduce your scrap okay so this is very important productivity and work study here i have attached one uh, video that, that indicate the method study okay there are lathe machine there are cnc machine i have attached this cnc machine okay fifth one is control chart okay so in this particular uh, in this particular chapter we will study productivity method study work study work measurement and control chart so next one is fourth one is fourth chapter is job evaluation and wage plan so now what is job evaluation first of all the question is what is job evaluation so job evaluation that doesn't mean job uh, quality checking this is not this, this is not the thing okay this is different what uh, this is different from job checking okay qc checking okay what is job evaluation for example if you hire one people or one worker then you have to pay you have to pay some salary according to their profession okay so this is called job evaluation so now the question is what is wage plan okay so basically wage plan that depend on experience okay that person's experience okay so this is very important job evaluation and wage plan okay job evaluation and wage plan that depend on method of evaluation wage and types of different wages in this particular chapter we are going to study about different types of wage plan different types of incentives plan okay so this is very important chapter so now fifth chapter is industrial legislation so what is industrial legislation so industrial legislation that depend on different types of law okay so now which type of law okay each and everything each and everything for example machine for example man for example worker okay there are particular law that developed by the government and we must follow that law
say we must our industry must follow that law because ultimately our task is clear ultimately our task is clear we are uh, uh, it is uh, to improve our productivity it is to improve our profit so according to rules and regulations we must follow the industrial rules so first one is industrial dispute rules workman compensation uh, compensation rules health provisions safety provisions rules okay so there are many types of rules in this particular chapter okay so in this particular chapter we will study different types of rules different types of regulations that follow by the industry now and most important chapter chapter number 6 that is inspection and statistical quality control so what is inspection okay and what is uh, statistical uh, quality control or statistical quality checking for example inspection let's take one example inspection so for example one product is prepared or is manufactured by a uh, worker okay so now it's time to check the quality because ultimately it reduce the scrap ultimately it reduce the uh, it reduce the scrap or it it increase the productivity so inspection is very important inspection that depend on quality assurance material and different types of fundamental that followed by the quality control engineer okay so inspection and statistical quality control is very important task that depend on material that depend on quality assurance that depend on fundamental that followed by the quality control engineer number 2 quality control and quality circle so basically quality control that depend on inspection and what is quality circle so quality circle that depends on management okay one organization uh, uh, there is one organization and that follow the all the rules and regulation and that improve your method study improve your methods okay so this is quality control and quality circle third one is total quality control this is one type of organization okay so it is very important total quality control in inspection and statistical con uh, quality control there are uh, combination of two words okay first word is inspection number two is statistical quality control so now the question is what is statistical quality control so it is analysis it is graphical method you have to follow the graphical method and you have to increase your productivity ultimately this subject is related to improvement of your productivity improvement of your profit so this is very basic thing okay so now number 5 is normal distribution curve okay the, uh, we will see this all the funda in this particular chapter inspection and quality statistical quality control it is basically very important chapter if you mention if you study in gtu last chapter is entrepreneurship so what is entrepreneurship so here in this particular chapter we are going to discuss about concept of entrepreneurship here i have attached one video that related to entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is always a long term process this is not short term process okay uh, there are many characteristic of an entrepreneurship concept of entrepreneurship source of industrial finance source of industrial finance government incentives to entrepreneurs okay this all are covered in entrepreneurship and that is also very important chapter so in this particular uh, subject we are going to discuss about location selection and plant layout production planning and control industrial legislation statistical quality control and inspection and last one is entrepreneurs okay so thank you thank you so much in